guys how to make how I made the pattern. I did a drink making it. Uh, just show you guys how to make the pattern. If you just have like some underwear and maybe a tank top or something like that too. But anyway, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make the pattern for the swimsuit. I actually made my pattern by draping it on a dress form but I know that everybody doesn't have a dress form so I'm going to show you how to do the pattern from um, I have a tank top and some bikini bottoms if you um, don't have bikini bottoms you can just use some underwear um, and if you or if you have like a bathing suit that you already like the fit you can just fold it in half and trace the bathing suit also um, but so I have a tank top here folded in half so we're gonna do half draw half the pattern but you know when you cut it you're gonna cut it on the fold of the fabric so it'll be a whole pattern and then I have the bikini bottoms folded in half here so this is your center front line you're just gonna trace down and then here you can push the fabric in sort of and then trace around that front bikini part but I'm just gonna go around like regular and then redraw it and sorry for the mess on the table didn't have time to clean it so okay all right so this is the <laughs> basic pattern um, so I this is gonna be my front so I'm going to drop my neckline down because I want a lower neckline and then I'm going to drop the armhole down because I want some more side boob. I'm doing like this. And um, then I'm going to make the hip higher because I want a higher hip. And then I'm also going to bring that crotch line in since I traced on the butt part. Or I didn't push it in or whatever. So then you're just going to... These are your new cut lines. I would suggest if you, when you make your bathing suit to cut, like get some cheaper stretchy fabric with similar stretch and make like a mock-up first sew a mock-up first so you can get the fit down and then you know before you sew it out of the real fabric so this is going to be my front piece and then for the back piece you can retrace your um, I mean you can even use this like cut it out and then retrace the whole front piece and then redraw your lines higher or whatever and then you know redraw your butt part a little bit more to cover your butt um, but I don't have a back to mine so it's literally just the bo bottom butt part so I'm just gonna take the bikini bottoms again and redraw the back and um, so that's gonna be my back Piece, and then I think that the rest of my back is just like strings which I'll show you just you're just gonna make cut out long strips of fabric and fold them so that's the front piece back piece and yeah that's it all right so this is the getting ready to sew the uh, real so the first thing I'm going to do is sew the crotch down, I sew the, sorry, sew the back, uh, the back piece, uh, right sides facing to the front piece at the crotch. So I just pin the crotch and you're going to do that for both the main fabric and the lining um, fabric. So I'm just going to do that real quick. So these are your two sewn crotches. All right. All right, so next we have our straps. So the first thing we need to do is turn them into straps. So what I do is I'll fold them in half. Uh, my seam allowance is quarter of an inch, so I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch in. So you got the straps sewn together, just a quarter of an inch in, right? So then we're gonna flip it. So you can do a safety pin, use a safety pin, you're just going to, right in that little hole, you're going to pin it on one side, and then you're just going to push the safety pin in. It takes a little second, but you got to, as you push the pin in, then you start pulling the fabric inside out. 
it takes a little time, a little time consuming. You can also do it with a needle and thread. You would tie the, the thread, thread to the end, that end right there, and then push the needle through and have the needle pull through, but this works faster to me because the thread all sometimes breaks. Ta-da! So then you just pull through. Once you get to the end, you just wham. Okay, so you are going to now start pinning your lining and your uh, main fabric together, uh, right sides together. Mine are going to look <laughs> mine are going to look weird because my right side of my lining is my wrong side of my lining is actually the right side, but it, it's going to look weird. So don't pay attention to mine. Just remember right sides um, together for yours for the lining and the main fabric. So, thing is, is you gotta put your straps in before you do this because this is where you won't get a chance to redo it. So, you're gonna go in between like the sandwich, and I have a notch where my strap is supposed to go. And the same at the shoulder because these strap, my straps are gonna be crisscrossed. You can do your straps any way you want. You can do just two straps here and two straps on the side, and then you can tie it and tie it at the neck. But I'm trying to be difficult and do a crisscross strap, so hopefully these straps are uh, stretchy enough. So I'm just taking my strap from the inside and crisscrossing it over to this side. And technically, I measured it so that when it stretches out, it's going to be tight enough. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully sandwich that together. Sorry if this is getting a little complicated looking, but I did decide to complicate this bathing suit because I want it reversible. I want straps to crisscross so I can't like control the tightness of the straps. But of course, a little challenge never hurt anybody. Okay, so I got it pinned. <laughs> I know I use a lot of pins. I'm just like that. I always have been. And when you sew stretchy fabric, oh my god. It moves so much and it stretches out so much. So I just like to pin everything so that it doesn't, um, you know, stretch or get all warped out while I'm sewing it. I know. Anyway, that's just how I do it. And I just like to make sure everything doesn't move. So, again, sew from here, here, around the side seam. Remember the strap is in there, so you sew on top of that, around the side seam, across the top of the shoulder where the strap is, back down the neckline, neckline, side seam on the other side, and then you stop here. You're going to leave this part open, it's going to stay open, and this one on this side too. Alright, so now this is where the crotch and the bottom are, so we need to sew, but we're going to start sewing about a couple inches in. So start sewing, leave the side and to here, like open, same thing on this side, you're going to leave this open, start sewing about right here, two inches in on each side. You're going to sew all the way down the crotch, uh, past the crotch to the bottom, all the way up and here too you're going to stop about two inches from the edge. So leave this part, leave like this part open like this part open and then you're going to sew from here here all the way across here so you're going to have a gap here and a gap here I know it's kind of weird it doesn't make a whole lot of sense but it, we need some openings to flip it and to be able to maneuver so yeah so yeah you come a couple inches in start sewing around all the way around and then you stop you know a couple inches from here here and then we so across the top here. Alright, so now we're going to flip everything inside out. We're just going to go in from the side here and uh, do that. So this is like this, alright. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this end and this end. And we're going to flip it like this. side, I'm going to put, 
right sides together. Sew right down. I'm gonna sew right down here, and then same thing with this side. I'll show you again. I had it pinned, but I just wanted to show you again because I know this is confusing. So this is like that, right? And this, it's like this, but you're gonna flip it like that, and you're going to put them together, right sides together, match the seams. It's the easiest way to start it. So. So straight down, like so, straight down, all right? <clears throat> so now we're going to close these openings on the sides. So the way I do it is... And you'll just do a top stitch with a straight stitch. All right, and I have finished sewing it. So yeah, you see here. So that's done on both sides, and we're done. So for me, hopefully.